Right, real quickly, just wanted to uh, say, for anybody who wants to sit there, and, and because I know there's people out there like this, and, and this is just to nip it in the bud, uh, I'm not going to be editing the crap out of my videos, so you see all the skipping and jumping. You'll hear me say, um, a lot, because I'm trying to remember what I'm saying. Um, also, I am currently living in a, a really 34-foot, RV with my family so you do see quite a bit of clutter on my counters and stuff because we just don't have any space to put anything and we're trying to live in this thing so I apologize about my disaster area of a counter space there and then the fact that there was dirty dishes in there for this video uh, if you don't like it I apologize there's plenty of videos out there where people have everything clean and beautiful and uh, share topics that are just as good I guess so um, I hope you enjoy my video uh, please disregard my my clutter like I said I am living in a, a 34 foot RV with my family and there's just really no room to put anything so there is quite a bit of clutter around uh, if you can get past that hope you enjoy the information here it comes Good morning everyone uh, today we're gonna talk about Ormus um, which is a high spin state of monoatomic elements <clears throat> Oops, putting my hand over the camera. All right, so I'm going to switch over to the other camera here, and I'm going to show you how I make my Ormus. Um, started off following a recipe on the Internet uh, for the wet method. I've been doing this for about two months now. Found a few things out. like to share it with you guys for the easiest way I know to make Ormus. So let me switch over to the other camera here. So, this is generally the wet method you make it. You take a box of the, the you know, baking soda, you put this in the oven for a few hours, and it comes out as washing soda. Uh, loses some of its weight, uh, winds up at about 11, hold on, I can tell you in one second. 10.2 uh, ounces is what it winds up at, out of 16 ounces. So it loses some of its weight mass in the process, but it turns it into washing soda. Now, washing soda is this big old box right here. And this is actually cheaper to buy. So I took 11 or 10.2 uh, ounces of that and used that instead. Now, both times that I made it, whether it was with starting with the baking soda and converting it into washing soda, which this is sodium bicarbonate, this is sodium carbonate. That's the only difference is it re removes the bi part. Um, in the heat process, which, it, like I said, makes it lose some of its weight. <clears throat> but when I mixed it in with water, you're supposed to, I believe, you mix it in with 32 ounces of water, and uh, it basically turns into complete liquid when you first do it, but after you let it settle for a while, you wind up with this, which is kind of a large chunk of crystal of... Uh, sodium bicar or sodium carbonate that is separated from the the acid solution in the you know the water acid solution it doesn't matter if i use baking soda to start or if i use washing soda to start after a few days i've gotten this lump now you don't have to redissolve this lump back into it you can grind it up and remelt it or whatever you want into a new one but this is still your same acid solution in fact the first time i made it before this sediment had actually, you know, set itself down there, I had put this in with the, the, the salt water mixture, and it converted arms just fine and washed out just fine, but I wound up with about a third of the amount of Ormus I do now when I use just the liquid after letting it settle out all the way and form that layer on the bottom. I don't know why, um, but once it settles, I actually got more Ormus. So I'm going to show you the process that I use to make the Ormus. It's relatively simple, especially once you get to this point. So give me a second. Let me set that up, and I will show you that. All right, so... Here we go, we got my concentrate solution, as you can see the crystals, you know, sludge is still sitting in the bottom. Uh, it basically made a big block. I'm not sure if I got to break that out of there to get to it or what. Um, but here we have two 24-ounce bottles of 
water. One's bigger because I'm going to mix that one into that one. But basically, you take it and you, you're going to add 120 mil or yeah, 120 milliliters of this. Hopefully, you have something that has milliliters on it. If you don't, it's you know just go out and go get yourself a cheap dollar store um, you know measuring cup that has milliliters on it, and then you're going to mix this into the shorter one, just like that. And then you're going to make sure you give that a good stir. Well, in my case is going to be a quick shake. All right, just to make sure that's all settled up. Then we're going to add three tablespoons of salt for this. i got to put my phone down, so I'm going to pause it, and then I'll, I'll put it in there and show you. And I'll be right back. All right, so this is the Dead Sea salt that I use. Um, there's different brands out there. This one seems to work good for me. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add three tablespoons of that, and it's just, you know, a regular tablespoon. Uh, not a measuring tablespoon, and this isn't an exact thing. It, 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 as long as your mix is close, it works great. Um, and I'm going to add that to this large jar over here, so let's get that going there. And you just take, you know, three nice sized scoops and put it in there. And then we're going to just close this back up. When you are making Ormus, one thing to make sure is that if you're using lids, you, you make sure you use a good lid. You don't use something that is rusting or open metal. Uh, you want to have a plastic barrier minimum between any metal parts and your solution. And you want to use glass or plastic. Um, if you're not comfortable using plastic, glass is fine. But you're just going to mix this up and you'll, you'll see the salt in there still. There's, you know... Most of it's already dissolved. But you're just going to mix this up and until all the salt is dissolved in there. My lid isn't quite tight enough. <laughs> and it is literally that quick. As you can see in there, I mean, I got a bunch of air bubbles, but my salt is dissolved because you're only mixing three tablespoons into. 24 ounces of water so it dissolves rather quickly so then we're going to take this lid back off take this lid off and then the magic happens ha now i've had one person tell me well that's not a high enough acid solution to do that if all your stuff's falling out but watch it definitely is because there's my Ormus being created. The Ormus is the white powder. It's actually a mix of Ormus and uh, magnesium. Uh, magnesium, I don't remember. It's milk magnesia, basically. Um, it's not going to hurt you. If you drink a large quantity of milk magnesia, it will give you diarrhea. So don't recommend doing that. But then you're just going to let this settle. It's going to literally settle to a layer where... At the top will be just looks just like water it's actually your salt solution uh, it pulls the sodium out of it and it leaves behind the ormus and uh, the magnesium and you're gonna sit there and let this set settle down it's gonna settle down to about here I used seem to get about a cup doing it this way the first time I did it I only got maybe a third of a cup if that um, like I said the first time I did it, I didn't let the acid solution settle. And when it settled, I actually, like i shown you, had a, a chunk at the bottom. And this seems to actually produce more Ormus and uses less product, I guess. But you're going to let that settle. And once it settles, you're going to filter off the top by using a siphon tube, sticking it down just above the, you know, where the line forms. And strain off the water, mix in some more, you know, clean water, which you use distilled water for all this. Uh, do not use sink water because you'll be per pulling other impurities into it. Always use distilled water. But then once it gets down, you siphon it off, mix in some distilled water, shake it up again, and let it settle again. Now, the first time I did this, before I let the, you know, the baking soda or washing soda, whatever you want to call it, settle... It took almost three days for this to settle down to the to the separation. 
since I've decided to let it settle for a couple days before I use it, it does it almost overnight. So this will create about a cup of Ormus material, um, which you can use a teaspoon to a tablespoon at a time, depending on how your body reacts to it. Like I said, it does have milk of magnesia in it. So I would take it slow steps. Otherwise, if you give yourself, you know, the trots, it's kind of your own fault because it does have milk of magnesia in it. It's about 40% milk of magnesia from what I understand. So just by taking those, you know, quick little steps there, you can get this down to about a, you know, cup, cup and a half of Ormus material. You take a teaspoon of that a day. And what it does is it's going to, uh, hold on, let me switch my camera back here. What it winds up doing is it creates an Ormus uh, material. It's like a, a white kind of a gel it forms at the bottom of it. It's supposed to be about 60% M-state material. The other 40% is about 40% anyway of milk of magnesia. It has... Uh, I've been taking it for about two months. Um... Major things I've noticed. I'm able to concentrate on things a lot easier. I'm not uh, such a spaz when it comes to uh, thinking about things. I used to, you know, sit there and be on a cop topic, and all of a sudden my mind's off racing on other things. Um, ADD, whatever people want to call it. Uh, I've had it since I was a child. I just my mind's always all over the place trying to figure out and understand everything at the same time, and it gets a little bit annoying. <clears throat> but one thing Ormus has done for me is it helps my mind settle down a little bit so that I'm able to concentrate on what I'm doing, working on, whatever, and uh, not be so flighty. Um, another thing I've noticed is I used to have these really, really horrible dark bags under my eyes. Uh, you can still see a little bit of them. And, you know, my crow's feet and my wrinkles are starting to smooth out just from taking Ormus. Um... My joints hurt less. Um, uh, it's, it's a whole lot of benefits that I've had. Uh, my hair coloring is coming back. I used to start about two and a half years ago dyeing my hair because I was just pretty much gray. And um, now my hair is coming back in. Uh, it's been about two months since I've, I've dyed. And you can see that the hair is coming in darker it's it's not gray anymore it's it's actually coming in and actually over here was one of the worst spots this was always just almost white and it's it's coming back in with my hair color again so it does do stuff uh, again like i said we we kind of know what it does but as far as exactly what it is it, it, it they don't know it, it, they know it's a high spin state of of a mono atomic element of uh you know gold copper silver zinc all the the metallic elements in a very high spin state that's what ormus stands for is orbitally arranged monoatomic el el elements um so that's a quick way to make them um it's not a cure for anything it's just a supplement for the body that it's able to use to pull these minerals into your body in a way that your body can use them and you know my beard you can see it's 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 weird at the moment because this side is a lot darker than this side but it my color this was all gray and it's starting to come back so if nothing else just so I don't have to dye my hair because I guess I'm vain it, it, it's a benefit that way but I sleep better I have more vivid dreams, I the wrinkles have you know lessened. I am forty, gonna be forty-seven years old this year, and I was you know I guess vain because in my opinion, um, my grandparents and my parents and that didn't get gray this early, and and you know it's part of it's because of all the you know chemicals and shit in our diet and that are being dumped on us and everything else. And this is just another way to benefit your body to help it deal with those situations so hope you like it um please comment and subscribe and we'll see you next time